to St. Joseph's in Subiaco. My name is Greg Lecoulter and I'm the youth coordinator here at St. Joseph's in Subiaco, Perth, WA. Our major vision dream, I suppose, for young people is to, to walk with them on their journey to become happy, healthy and holy adults. That's part of my role, um, to be a mentor and to set up programs and to connect with them. So a major part of that vision is connection. Connection with other people, not necessarily peers, not just young people, the older, the younger, the in-between, and also a connection with God. I was introduced to Flame Ministries a long time ago, but didn't really know much about them. I knew they were connected with a charismatic style a ministry, but that was about it. When I started my ministry here at St. Joseph's, one of the parishioners approached me on fire and she said, I want to tell you about this, this set my people on fire, and Flame Ministry are involved with it. Um, come and have lunch, let's have a coffee and I'll, uh, introduce you to this concert. So Prishna approached me about to my people on fire because of how it had inspired her and she wanted to see is there a place in our program here at St Joseph's for this program because of how it had changed her life. So that got me interested to go okay so this has a real effect in people. It didn't change her into something she wasn't but into something that God had already designed her to be. So I was like, okay, tell me more. One of the fantastic things about Flame and the Set My People on Fire program is it's about uh, equipping and empowering young people or people in general into relationship with Christ for, um, with the power of the Holy Spirit, setting them on fire to be able to go back to their own parish and to, to work in there. We're not about recruiting people to St. Joseph's Youth Group or to the Flame Ministry, but about equipping them, empowering them, and setting them on their own journey to then walk with each other within their parish. Equipping and empowering people through the Spirit into deeper relationship with Christ brings them to life, and I think one of the reasons we want to, to run Set My People on Fire here at St Joseph's, not just for our parish community but for all the different parishes, is that parishes that are alive can change their communities. Communities can change their cities and cities can change nations.